What's up, Hokie fans? This is Coach Mike Holmes, contributor with the Sons of Saturday, coming to you with this week's 10-minute tailgate. Every week on the 10-minute tailgate, we create a curated recipe and a cocktail recipe to make your overall tailgating and home gating experience all that much better. This week is hate week. Nobody, and no, I mean nobody, despises the University of Virginia more than this guy right here. And for the first time since 2018, believe it or not, and I was there, my son, who's the cameraman today, he was there, thrilling victory 2018. But that was the last time there were fans inside Lane Stadium to watch the Hokies play UVA. So we're all pumped. We're excited for this game. And so for this week on the 10-Minute Tailgate, we're all recovering from Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's Thursday. The game is on Saturday, so we're all trying to figure out something that is not going to necessarily fill us up because we're all stuffed to the gills from Thanksgiving Thursday, probably leftover sandwiches on Friday, my personal favorite. And then we want something Saturday that even though it's an 8 o'clock game, this is something that we can snack on all day long. So the recipe we're going to make Chex mix. is a Virginia roasted Chex Mix. Okay, and uh, we're gonna it's gonna be baked, so it's gonna take a little bit. So after we put everything together and then put it in the oven, we're gonna make our cocktail, and then we're gonna come back and, and show you what it looks like at the end. And for our cocktail, because we're playing UVA, nickname the French. We're making a bourbon cocktail with a French name on it, the Boulevardier, and it's uh, really good. It's got it's got bourbon, Campari little bit of orange flavor so it's gonna be very good and so let's go ahead and get right over here to our Chex Mix so now you may have had this before but I'm gonna add a, a couple of little twists to it here um, first off it's very simple I have uh, wheat Chex rice Chex and corn Chex so three different kinds I have some uh, some goldfish here some mini pretzels and I have in order to give us a little bit of a Virginia twist I have two of my favorite brands of peanuts. Of course, I have Whitley's, uh, who uh, does work with us at the Sons of Saturday. Shout out, Brett. And then I also have uh, some Hubs peanuts. So, some, so I have a little bit of mix here uh, with some peanuts. And then for our spice seasonings, uh, we have some Worcestershire sauce, some Liam Perrin's Worcestershire. We're gonna use some seasoned salt, some granulated garlic and onion powder to kind of create this coating uh, to make this very flavorful. And to get everything to stick together, I do have some melted butter here as well. So let's start putting all this together. Again, it's very quick, very simple. Just add your different checkses to the bowl. Add your goldfish, add your pretzels. There you go. Add your peanuts. Okay. So we have everything uh, sit down here. So then we're gonna add our seasoning over top. Just kind of sprinkle all that in there. So it's got seasoned salt, granulated garlic, and onion powder. So we're gonna add all that in there. And I'm gonna take my spoon. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Sounds good. And uh, then we're gonna add our Worcestershire sauce and we're gonna kind of just drizzle that on top. Then we're gonna add our melted butter. And that is going to add as kind of a, act as a binder, kind of work everything together. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stir it really well and make sure this entire thing gets coated in all that really good seasoning. Every single little bit. Excellent. So now that all of our seasonings are set, we have everything where we want it to be. We're going to uh, come over here. I have my sheet pan right over here. And with my sheet pan, I uh, have my oven preset to 250 degrees. You don't want it to be too hot. You want it to be just warm enough where you can get this, uh, you can get all that seasoning to coat and stick on there and bake on there. So we're just going to cover our baking sheet. Okay. We're going to make sure that everything is on there good. All that good stuff down at the bottom. All right. Fantastic. Then we're just going to spread it out over top. So we're gonna cover the whole thing. If it piles up a little bit, that's okay. We're trying to use the heat in order to be able to bind it all together. So now that everything is situated there on our baking sheet, we're gonna go ahead and plop it in the oven and you're gonna cook it for one hour. And about every 15 minutes or so, you're gonna give it a little bit of a toss 
and that little bit of a toss is going to uh, be what kind of mix helps mix everything together. So we'll go ahead and drop that in the oven. And while we're doing that, if my camera guy will follow me, we're going to slide right over here and we're going to make our Boulevardier. So again, it's a bourbon cocktail with a French name because we're playing the Wahoos, those stinking, stinking Wahoos. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we've got our rocks glass. Okay, um, we're going to start with our whiskey stone. So we're going to add our nice whiskey stone into our glass. And we're going to always start with the heaviest hitter. So this heaviest hitter is going to be our bourbon. I have some Henry McKenna 10-year uh, uh, here, um, uh, bottled in bond. You use an ounce and a half of that. Boom, drop that right in there. Okay. Then I'm going to go with Campari. Okay. Campari is a uh, apertif, I believe that's what it's called, um, a digestif. Um, but we're going to add one ounce of that Campari. It'll give a little color, give it a little bit of flavor. Excellent. And then we're going to add another ounce of sweet vermouth. And the sweet vermouth, um, it is a unique liqueur. Um, but this, again, will add to that flavor profile. Now, all this Boulevardier is, is a variation on the Negroni. The Negroni is a... Uh, is a this this same recipe except with gin and so we're just replacing the gin with bourbon and it becomes a boulevardier uh, so also because can't have a cocktail without bitters we're going to add a couple of dashes of orange angostura bitters there we go and we're going to give it a nice stir okay and we're just trying to incorporate all of those different ingredients together man it looks really good and I am today, I am using my Roaring Riot rocks glass. Thanks, shout out to the Roaring Riot. Panthers are playing pretty well. Took it to the Chiefs yesterday. So um, starting to play pretty well. Go Bryce Young, right? So uh, last little thing is the garnish. So with this recipe, you're, with your Campari, with your orange bitters, it's going to have a little bit of a citrusy kick to it. So we're going to add a large slice of lemon peel. Take it off that orange there. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to express it. And so when we express it, all we're going to do is we're going to give it a nice little twist. And what that twist does, it gets all the oils out of the orange peel. Okay, and then we're going to take it, we're going to rub it around the rim there, and we're going to plop it right on the inside. So here is the Boulevardier. And you see it's a little bit maroon and orange colored in there. Again, go Hokies. Cheers. Mmm, it's very, very good. Good bourbon flavor, a little fruitiness from the orange and everything else. So everything looks great. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to check on these. Uh, we'll check on this Chex Mix that we have going on here. And then uh, pull it out and we'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll give it all a quick taste. So we'll see you in back in a little bit. All right, Hokie fans, welcome back. We have... Waited an hour. We've been uh, stirring our Chex Mix every 15 minutes. So the timer just went off. So I'm going to turn off my oven and I'm going to pull this mix out of the oven. Man, if you could be in this kitchen right now and smell it. Uh, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, hopefully all that butter and moisture sauce and all the seasoning uh, has been baked in. So all we're going to do uh, right here is we're going to take a little scoop full. Okay just to get a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna, uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, couple, take a couple pieces, see what it tastes like, all right? Here we go. Mm. Man, absolutely perfect. Seasoned just right. Goldfish, peanuts, Chex Mix, it all works great together. And that seasoning really binds everything together. So if you're looking for something a little light during this tailgate, Right before the UVA game, recovering again, recovering from Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Boulevardier, enjoy your Chex Mix, and once in uh, last but not least, I just want to say, if this is our last one for this season, our last ten minute tailgate, some for some reason we don't end up making a bowl game. Just want to say it's been a pleasure 
uh, to have you guys tune in each and every week to see what we put together for you. Uh, don't forget to follow, uh, subscribe to this video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe to the Sons of Saturday on all the social media platforms. Follow me at Hokey Hitter. Um, follow uh, College Football Monday on Twitter as well. Uh, Pete and Sam are doing great things over there. And as always, <laughs> go Hokies, beat the Wahoos.